Hey guys. Oh, feels good to be back. Yes, we are finally back for Standard. Welcome to Higher Standards here at Grewer Games. I'm Alfian Poon, I'm your host. Joining me today is Ilham Risky, professional grinder. Uh, not really professional, so yeah. Semi-professional grinder. Yes. Yes, yes. So now, here we have a game of Magic the Gathering, of course. Standard, Josh Cheng versus Gideon Law. Gideon, Sorry. of course, being a very... He, he used to be an... He used to play the game, but today is his first game after quite a while. I thought, I thought you were going to say he used to be in the Gatewatch. Yeah, until he died. To, to Nico Wallace killed him or something. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hold on, let me advertise the stream. discussion we are finally at the streaming standard here at uh, okay all right so Gideon takes a mulligan down to 6. Not the best thing to happen in the world. Okay, sees uh, soul, soul Scar Mage in his hand. So it's a classic mono red versus Timur matchup. And I think... I think Timur wins this. Uh, depends. Yeah, depends. Depends. If if Timur stumbles on land, t stumbles on uh, like creatures or spells, mono red will win the matchup. Especially Postboard. Postboard they have Harsh Mentor and Rampaging uh, for Sudan. Ah, right, that's true. Yeah. Harsh Mentor, of course, gonna punish the team of energy player for activating uh, its effects too many times, such as, uh, what's that? So, uh, Conduit? Anything they do. Anything they do, of uh, course. Pitoso, Bracing Hydra. Yes, yes. Uh, Love Us Cup. Uh, Seven? I don't know if Seven do it. Do it. Does, but does Harsh Mentor. Does Harsh Mentor if it affect uh, mana abilities? Uh, no mana. Uh, it's not mana. It's, activi uh, it's activated or... Yeah, it activated ability. Uh, activated ability yeah. of... Yeah. So if you fetch also, you gonna... Uh, oh no, no. It, 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 if it is a mana ability, so it doesn't work on Seven or Conduit. Hmm. So if you fetch with uh, Evermint Wards... Yeah, that will, that's, that will work. Yeah. Alright, speaking of uh, Soul of Conduit, here's Soul of the Conduit facing off against a Soul Scar Mage. Uh, timely a braid draw here from Gideon Law. I think it's either a braid or easy, the, the Archaker Kendra. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, but uh, I, I think in this position, he will uh, a braid. He should a braid, actually, because yeah. uh, he, he will. Because he, Servant accelerates the mana. Yes. So it's yes. either he casts. Uh, Breezing Hydra next turn or Wave of Filter so and yeah it's a wise choice to breed alright so sorry bring out the draw there for Josh Chung. Uh, I, sp I spy with my little eye the rogue refiner that he might be playing this turn what do you think I, I think he might be yeah he's probably gonna play it yeah is that uncrop I think I, is that uncrop smash on his hand no uh, right it can't be I think that's uncrop no. And then the, the card besides a tune is lightning strike. Is, uh, he, is okay. he playing aggro? Timur aggro? Come on, uh Uncrop Crasher, uh which is what Gideon just drew. Uh I don't know man. Is, is that team team that lightning strike? That is lightning strike. Right, that's uncrop. That's uncrop crasher. Next meta, next level. Oh, this guy's playing Tima aggro. Wow, okay. Wow, Josh Chung ahead of the curve right here. Here comes Uncrop Crasher on Gideon's side. Is he going to exert? Uh, yeah, he's exerting. Yeah, he's exerting. Okay. Alright, so Josh untaps and draws. Bristling Hydra, the draw here for Josh. Uh, he does not have an untapped land, so can't play the Bristling Hydra on 4. Yeah, so this is the position where uh, PGO, you know? PGO? Uh, PGO, I don't know. Huey, uh, Owen Dutomal, Redu. Okay, you, know, okay. you know them? Yeah, I know them. I know them. Okay. Uh, they say, okay, tap land in this deck is is very bad. So that's why we play four red bottom crack. Basically. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So imagine if he draw uh, Ruban, if he have Ruban crack instead of sh sheltered uh, ticket, he can cast a Bracing Hydra now. 
know, that's, also that's, it, it, that's true. Yeah. But I think he's going to play the sheltered ticket now and then play the mountain next turn so he can play glory, the glory. glory bringer. Oh, oh, chooses not to do that. Never mind. Maybe he wants to aggro him back. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, he wants to play the uncropped pressure. Uh, I think it's the wisest, wiser choice would be uh, play the shelter ticket and yeah, play right? the Lightning uh, Right, uh, right. Of course. Lightning Strike, yeah. But he's going to attempt to out aggro Gideon Law here. Uh, Gideon drops down to 14, of course. Let's see what Gideon draws off the top here. So, will Gideon play Mountain. a Chandra? Mountain. <laughs> Does that's Gideon? Very, that's very... That's very... <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, he has Hazard in his hand, though. Yeah. But it does not... He's not able to dump his hand fast enough to activate the Hazard. So that could be a problem. Uh, I think his only player might be just land Hazard go. L land Hazard hit go. Right? There's no other possible play he could make. I think maybe he can play the, the other... Oh, play the, play the Skull Summage. Right, Skull right. Summage and then land and then say go. Uh, yeah, then like he can... Then he, faking a, a removal spell or something. Yeah, then he can, he can do the Hazard next, next turn. Yeah, right. that's true. Oh shit, I forgot to put in a timer. Whoops. I have autism. What's the time now? 43. So tomorrow are you going to cast with me? Nah, tomorrow I'm just gonna sleep at home. You're gonna play magic as well? Nah. I'm gonna just relax. Just sit back and relax. So you're I, not a magic player now? I still am. I have, a, oh. I, I have a standard deck. Okay, so he chooses to play the Hazard, uh which is, I believe, the inferior play here. It's the... yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but next turn, he has a good... Uh, what's it called? A good turn. Yeah, it would be better if he had... if he played Soul Mage this turn though. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Sheltered Ticket tap. Yeah, so he, got, he got Punish. Yeah, Punish for... not making very good... No, actually, no. If you wanted to play Uncrop Crusher, then I guess. I mean, I mean, it's. I think at that position, it's better to to play the. Uh, yeah, I think to, so. To play the shelter ticket. I on think turn so four. too. Yeah. Well, he does have lightning strike in his hand, so. That's pretty good. Yeah, but but looking at this position, I think it's better for him to cast the Bracing Hydra. Yeah, that was. Because he can charm. Not really charm. He can block the. Block the Hazard. No, block block the Uncrop Crusher. Uh, ah, of course. Profitably. Of course. Yeah. Sure now, Josh taps two. Looks like he's gonna play lightning strike. Okay, lightning strike your uncropped crusher, says Josh. Okay, sure, says Gideon. Oh, lightning strike the. No, okay, no, he's he's playing the uncropped crusher. Hmm, I don't really like this turn because it it uh leaves Josh uh vulnerable to resurrect. Correct. Not really. It leaves Josh with two open mana unused for the turn. He's not really making full effective use of his mana here. But he's going to attack with both creatures, of course. Gideon, being unable to block, takes the full brunt of that damage. Down to 8. Alright, so this leaves... At least this uh, leaves uh, Josh up for lethal next turn if he drops the... Oh, that's shock. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so he can shock... Or he can deal... He can shock... 5, 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 damage. Yeah, but... Oh. Oh, okay. And then there was his turn. He has to survive this turn, I think. He has to shock uh, the Uncrop Crusher. And leave one behind. But I don't think Gideon knows that he should be playing around uh, Glorybringer, right? Because... Uh, um, yeah, true. Because Josh doesn't really, li uh, like, show him... Yeah, he definitely does yeah. not know that Josh has Glory Bringer there. So this could spell trouble for Gideon. Mm, but but the thing is, Josh currently has Uncrop Crusher, which needs to be answered. So yeah, the wise choice will be shock the Uncrop Crusher. Uh, maybe attack with the Hazard. Attack with the, with the Hazard, then cast the oh no, cast cast the Uncrop first and Un shock the Uncrop. Shock the Uncrop, cast the uh, one two. What's what's it called? Soul scummage. Soul scummage, yeah. Then attack the hazard, then hope for the best. The next turn, maybe do something else. Mm, okay, so he looks like he's gonna play the soul scummage. Mm. 
He plays for Skarmage. So yeah, from the field, there is actually a lot of Timur energy. Today. Oh, he's tapping three. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So that's two damage. Okay. Oh no. Okay, this looks like game for. This looks like game. Yeah. That's oh, seven. That's seven damage. Hey, no, no, he doesn't cast a shock. Yeah, yeah. this is this is six, six damage. So, Josh is gonna be down to four. Oh no! No, Gideon, why? Why, Gideon? Why you lose like this? Maybe it's because his yeah. first time playing uh mono right maybe maybe yeah the game yeah, yeah. Oh, lose i lose gideon lose all right so first game goes to josh chung very easy very nice uh it's not the smoothest place in the world but still a win good job josh gideon just got lord that makes any sense. So, uh, Ilham, how do you do for the Nationals? Uh, it's okay. I expect more. I expect to 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 have two less losses. I yeah. Oh, why? Because I want to go top eight. Okay. I want to finish in the money, man. Oh, top you got money, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, like, bro. At least, at least like hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Oh, sorry, bro. Yeah. The games where I feel can win is the games where I didn't draw my sabocas, which oh. is probably is which is both my standard game which where I lost. So I yeah. Sorry for your loss, bro. Yeah, but it's fine. Looks like you're not talented enough. In drawing sample cards. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. So how do you go in the end? Uh eight four? Oh that's not bad. Uh yeah. How's your draft? Uh two one both spot. Oh, both nice. both draft, yeah. Nice. Expect a more Okay. Next year. Next year. Okay. You know, I don't like I don't like playing uh, this kind of events. You know why? Cause uh, some 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 stupid shit is gonna happen to me, which I can't avoid. For example, S like being stuck on mana, not drawing this, and I'm gonna be very salty for like the next, going to be salty and sad for the next two months or so. Which is why I don't like playing these kind of really big events. Um, I, I think you need to get used to it. I'm not. I'll never get used to it. <laughs> I'll never get because no, magic is always always. No matter like how that. many PPTs PB, I play, I'll never get used to it. Then then you don't play that thing. You just just play casual events and just play your your uh blue green uh blue commander. blue green no, what no blue green commander. I want to play standard. Then you need to get used to it. But I don't. But I can't get used to it. Uh, sad. I mean, I I would probably play Ramona Red because like. Uh, you know, you know, if you play Ramona Red, it's it's m easier for you to get punished if you don't draw the right land. Yeah, I know. Don't don't play Ramona Red. Just play <laughs> anything, anything you like. Like Ramona Red. Like like I thought you like control. Yeah, but I don't want to buy four Scarab Gods. <laughs> no, you don't need four. You only need two. I don't want to buy two Scarab Gods. It's good. It's so hard to find now. Yeah, I'm selling. I thought you said you were buying. Oh, I'm selling. I, I bought it already. No, I'm selling. Why? Because I don't like. Okay. You want? No. Okay. I'll, I'll just play the Grixis, the inferior Grixis version. Shut us list? Yeah. Nah. Nah. It's, it's still control. It's still a search of Ascanta. True. I, 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 actually, I actually opened two search of Ascantas during my pre-release, so I didn't have to buy them. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So it runs two, two search, search, right? Uh, I think three, three, three. three. Okay. Cause the deck itself, if you land turn two search for Ascanta and your opponent doesn't does punish do you. much, doesn't punish you, you win most of the most of the time. Oh, Even in true. control mirror. 
Yeah, control mirror is all about Sisra as Cantano. That's true. Yeah. So back to the game. Is there any is there any comments lying around? No comments. FDG Lexicon is hosting us. Nice. Wow. Okay, man. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. Okay, I'm done sneezing. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Karizev, the pirate coming here from Gideon. I'm gonna swing in with the soul scummage. I wonder if Gideon's put in his uh, glory bringers. I don't know when. Uh. Okay, mountain for Josh. He does have the harness lightning, so he might want to play that onto the Karizev. Yep. Or if he don't have any land, he might play the servant. But yeah, I think I think the wise choice is to just kill the two mana yeah. three three. Yeah, for sure. Draw here for Gideon. Oh. Ooh, Earthshaker Kenra, not a bad draw. Place Earthshaker Kenra, beat in for 3 damage. Goes down to 16, pass the turn. Alright, uh, Josh thinking very hard how what he should be doing here. Uh, maybe you might want to play the Uncrop Crasher? No, he doesn't have the third Oh, he doesn't have the mana, yeah. shit. Okay, so some of the conduit here going to provide itself as an ample blocker. That's Bomart Courier. Uh, Gideon has a braid in his hand and another Earthshaker Kendra. So uh, I think the play here might be to abrade the some of the conduit and then swing with both. Uh, no, swing with uh, all three because you're going to cast the Bomart yeah, yeah, Courier. Yeah, because you have the second braid in your hand. So. Yeah, so I wonder if Gideon sees this line of play and sees the some of the conduit as a threat which he should be seeing it oh no okay so he plays the oh shaker can all right so at least he's doing a decent amount of damage here so he's gonna swing in for five, five damage no six damage oh yeah Did he miss his what career trigger yep oh okay so i think i think gideon is not punished oh no 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 okay uh never mind <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here, Joss has access to 3 mana, not the best. So this is what you're mentioning about just now, right? Stumbling on mana as and creatures as the team energy deck. Hmm. You're supposed to say more stuff. What? You're supposed to say more stuff. Oh, like what? I, I don't know. Oh yeah, so this <laughs> engine is, is, is very bad for team energy because uh, you really, really want to... Uh, Curve, not really curve out. You really want to cast spells every time you have mana for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, this board is very tough for Tima to come back. And basically, if Gideon breaks on, like, if he if Gideon draws a lot of lands, a lot of uh, bullshit, <laughs> then yeah. Speaking he, of Gideon lands, he did draw a land. Yeah, he draw a land, but it's a it's a good land because it's a fourth land. He oh, he, oh! I think he has Chandra in his hand actually. He has Chandra. Is, uh, you it, it, it looks like Chandra. It's I I can't see. I thought mm. he have two a bridge in his. Oh, he has two a bridge. Oh. oh, oh, steam. Okay, so I think in response, Josh might want to cast a magma spray on one of the Oshika Kendras. Yep, but I think. Or maybe Mega Mega Spray the Bomat Courier. No, I think what I think, think? Mega Spray the Kendra is better this this in this position. Or he can respond to uh, spray the one two. Okay, that's true. Because uh, but then in, but then in, oh blossoming defense. What what? Nani. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He, he Gideon's not. Oh, Gideon's gonna break the other one. Okay, that that works. Uh yeah. Uh, wow. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, but all right. I guess I guess he's in in no rush to make my spray. Right, so he's just gonna take a bit of damage. Eight damage, in fact, down the two. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Next turn. Yes, he's dead. Well, unless he can somehow take control of the board. Nope, he's dead. Yeah. 
Yep, stuck on lens. Yep. So I wonder if just have Wheeler Fitoso here. Yeah, I didn't see the Wheeler Virtuoso in his Or deck he's just all. straight red green because I didn't see any blue land coming. Red green energy. Yeah. Red, yeah. Blue or blue, any blue splash coming. Yeah. And Maybe actually, Wheeler Fitoso is the best card against uh, against, for against the mono red. Yeah. yeah, right? Because he creates all the blockers. One, the 1-1 one, one top thirds do block the Earthshaker Canras and can't be affected by its effect because it comes in during battle phase after the Earthshaker Canras trigger. So, yeah. Oh, I see. But I see he play Confiscation, Confisc- Confiscation Coop. So he's uh, Josh Chung playing some sort of strange brew here. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, okay. We'll put in some... I see him sneak in some Sweltering Suns in his deck. Why do you think about sheltering suns? No, oh, it's not good in this matchup. It's not good. It's not good. Cause, uh, first of all, if you have Wheel of it also, it's not good for your own. Will maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't have World of Virtue yeah. also. How about yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> maybe he, if he swap the Wheel of it also for the three two for the uncrop uncrop creature. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Is it maybe cause he's like going to go to all the shops buying World of Virtue also, but none of the shops have it. <laughs> it's an uncommon bro yeah but shops can run shops can run out of uncommons true maybe maybe some guy is buying all the wheel photos so. yeah maybe because he likes to make totters yeah hmm. he wants to make like 10 team energy decks uh, yeah, yeah. he likes the deck so much that he wants to make one for all his future generations to use <laughs> Right, if you're just tuning in to Grey Ogre Games, uh, we are playing some standard here. This is round one, Josh Chung versus Gideon Law. Check out Facebook, facebook.com slash Grey Games, our video on demands. We always record our videos and post them onto YouTube, youtube.com slash Grey Ogre Games. And check out our partners at Power9 Podcast, where Mick, the main caster for this show, and I, we talk about MTG Lifestyle. We just talk about MTG lifestyle. There's nothing much to it. But uh, both players draw their opening seven. Josh doesn't look like he has the most aggressive draw here. While Gideon, on the other hand, uh, I, I can't see his hand properly, actually. But looks like Josh is going to take a mulligan here. What are you looking uh, at? <laughs> I'm looking at other players, so oh. like seeing whether they are finishing the matches. Yeah, we have 20 players today. Hmm. One, two, three, yes. Yeah, what, what, 20 plus, I guess. Yeah, how do we have so many players for standard? I thought, I thought standard is a date format. It's good currently because you can play anything you want. Like if, you, you have, you, if you have like degenerate decks, decks, you can play tokens. If, oh, if you like for session. Yeah, yeah. If you like control, you can play control. If you like uh, aggro, combo control, you can play blue at control. Ah, uh, you can play aggro now, mono red. Yeah, and mono vehicles. If mono vehicles still, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no it's results. Yeah. There is. No. There is a. There's. There are results. Where? It's hidden. <laughs> <laughs> there are no it's hidden by the WotC, uh, team. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, and uh, yeah. Okay. And if you want to play more degenerate deck, you can play the God Pharaoh's Gift. That's not really degenerate. He's degenerate. <laughs> you just, just loot, 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 and the opponent die. Wait, how does Gideon always have the turn one Soul Scar Mage? I don't get it. It's Reek. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, see, he has blue. He does have blue. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, so but he, yeah, but I guess he doesn't play Wheel of Fit also. Alright, so I wonder if Gideon learned his lesson and uh, figures out that he should ex- actually remove the server conduit all the time okay so place the mountain uh karizef karizef oh that's not uh, i don't like this so do you like if, this if uh if you're gideon will you attack with your uh, salt damage into the uh, with it, uh, yeah i'll attack yeah. first actually Attack first? Yeah, attack first before casting anything. Hoping, so, hoping he doesn't yeah, block? No, if he blocks, then I can lightning strike his face. Then Soul Card Mage will kill the... Ah, correct, 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 right? correct, correct. Right? Correct, but... Gideon... From, from, I think from this play, he this doesn't have lightning strike? No, he has lightning strike in his he head. He has lightning strike? Yeah. Okay. 
That's interesting. Gideon, come on, man. All right, so Josh Chung might be interested in, to, in playing the Uncrop Crasher here. Uncrop Crasher going to profitably, profi profitably fight any one of those creatures should they choose to block, but uh, maybe he wants to play a long task cup instead for some reason. Nope, he was built along the Uncrop Crasher. You know, this would have been much better if the Uncrop Crasher was the Wolver Virtual, so. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so, alright, taps all three. Uncrop Crasher, here we go. And attack. And attack. With both. Mm. Don't think it's gonna exert because exerting pretty much does nothing here. I so you block the single card with the Kari Zef, right? Because, you know, 1-3... It's, it's a free block. It's a free block. Yeah, but if... It depends if, if just uh, exit and... No, nope, he didn't. Yeah, okay, free he didn't block. exit, okay. Free block, okay. Maybe I'll just double block, because it's a free block. No, then, then your soul skirmish dies. Don't care. What do you mean you don't care? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't care? Oh, you know, he exerted his Uncrop Crusher. Oh, That's oh, not... He, he targeted the Soul Sandwich, I think. No, he targeted the Harizef. Okay. Draws the Hazaret. Okay, so plays that. And... He might be interested in playing the... Uncrop Crusher this turn. So yeah, Uncrop Crusher. Gonna crash in for a lot of damage. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Okay, that's a good amount. That's huge, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but Josh is gonna play something. I mean, he needs to top like a uh, untap land. Yeah, that's true. Wait, he, he does have an untap land. Okay. Yeah. I think Josh. Once Josh reaches turn five, glory. Oh, he needs, he needs red. He needs red sauce. Though. He doesn't have. Yeah, he have red in from from uh seven. Oh right, right, right. Oh, bang. See, this is why you killed the Summer Conduit. See, Gideon, I told you, man. This is why you killed the Summer Conduit. Always kill the... Always bolt the mana... Al always bolt the birds of the bird. I why? think I always bolt... Uh, always bolt the bolt. <laughs> always, always bolt, bolt the bird. The I think always bolt the first bird. Yes, that's Second right. bird, you don't care. Yeah, always bolt the first bird. That's right. You know what's up. Uh, so I'm going to kill the Karizef. That's actually not... The worst thing to happen to me. Okay, untap. And draw. Command, format Korea, okay. So now Gideon wants to try and. Uh, actually, Gideon could go for a very good turn here. He could untap, he could place a land, unload like lots of cards in his hand. So all tapped out. So he can go for lots of damage, save the lightning strike for. The last point of three damage, all the Ramnak ruins actually. So this turn should be quite straightforward, right? You play land, you play creature, you smack face. So this is a bit. What's Gideon thinking of doing? Uh, I think he should. Kill the... Oh no! Why would you do that? Ah, oh, that's not a good play. Does he, does he forget that Hazret has haste? I mean, he has 3 cards in hand, so he can't attack anyway. Yeah, but why would you play Hazret like that? He can play other cards you and... Know, you know, you can... Bluff. Bluff what? He has, no, <laughs> he has stepped out! So... Wait, I maybe, mean... Maybe he's Uncle Crusher. Maybe... Josh does something like... Uncle Crusher... Exert on Hazaret. Wait, it doesn't make sense. Because Hazaret can't block anyway. But bluffing. Uh. See? Uh. I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad for Gideon here. Oh, this is. <sighs> Gideon, why? See if Gideon, Gideon, uh, if Gideon like took care of the servant of conduit from the start, this would not have happened. True. 
But you know, people make mistakes. But uh, actually, I think Josh should attack with the three. Two. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but it's okay. I think Josh still has the has the lead here. So if you're Gideon, I think you want to play the Sun Scorch Desert, play the Bomat Courier, swing with the Hazard. No, 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 you can't. Why can't you? Uh, I think the better play is to hold Hazard back. Okay. Uh, because you have you have a uh, soul scar mage, you can uh, lightning strike the hazard. Uh, lightning strike the the glory bringer, bringer to make it a wall one. Okay, but the glory bringer still has exert effect uh, correct, on correct. something. But you have no choice because you're behind now. But he can glory. He can just try and use hazard to chip down the defenses though. Uh, that's true. And he and if hazard connects, he does have sun scorch desert and lightning strike before the last four damage. Oh, he's at nine. Yeah. Spicy. So Gideon, what will you do? Will you scrub out or will you do the do? You know what Twitch chat is saying? Oh, they have no Twitch chats. Okay. So Gideon, what are you gonna do? Swing the Hazard, come on. Okay, so place the Sun Scorch Desert. Ping Josh for one. Mm. So I think over here you just swing with the Hazard. Yeah, you just swing with the Hazard. And uh, swing the hazard. Okay, swing the hazard, right? And then end of turn, end of turn, use run up ruins. Uh, actually, end of turn, use hazard's discard effect, and then lightning strike. No, 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 I, I think you should swing with both uncrop and hazard. If okay. you wanna go yolo, swing with both of that. Exit the uncrop, uh, target seven. So you can't block. Okay. Cause seven is is doing nothing now, and then uh, if let's say Josh doesn't choose to not block, uh, both creatures he wins. I mean, if blo Josh choose to just block the three two, uh, Gideon wins. Hmm. Cause you have a uh, three damage in him. I think that's the best play. Or if you're to have the best best play, swing with everything. Best Cause, best cause play. Because the one two becomes a two three if you have something. Ah uh, yeah, then he has he has to block two yeah. creatures. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, so uh, alright, so Gideon might <coughs> want to swing with everything here. I'm not sure if he knows he should be doing that. But currently he have two cards in hand. But he can use the he can just use Hazard's effect to discard. No, it. no, no. If he discard with Hazard, he only he can't cast the link strike. Right? Cause he cast the bomber career. Ah right, right, right. Yeah, so basically he can't swing with Hazard. Okay, so lightning strike the uncrop crusher. Okay. He tap wrong, bro. Wait. Oh, okay. He he's supposed to minus one, but okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. We'll pretend that it happened. Yeah. And swing into the team. Wow. Okay. See, that's that's a good play. Well, uh, I guess it's a good, it's an alright play. Does he remember the Does he remember the bomb out courage trigger though? All right, Josh Chung is also out of cards in hand though. So, I mean, there's there's a chance he just out there glory be for the win. Uh, that's true. Or oh, lightning strike. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, flying strike. Man, I'm so tired. Yeah, me too. I'm tired of life. So Josh here pondering on his options. And this is for aggro versus aggro game, this is going quite long. Um yeah. This should be a this should I, I think I think both players are quite uh new. Yeah, probably new. Yeah. Based based on the on based the on tapping the tapping skills and based uh, on the attacking uh, idea yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're probably quite yeah. new. 
Well, it's fine, it's fine. Cause yeah, 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 we are a fam- family friendly stream. Yeah, Christian, Christian rated, <laughs> um, re- Muslim rated. You know, ha- happy, oh, oh, you bring really, really happy, religion, happy, religion happy, ha- happy, dif- happy, 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 and he's gonna lose long task up in the process. No, it's eight damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, damage uh, deals two. Damage. No, 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 no. Oh, so damage deals two, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. So yeah. Bomak Korea, you bro, it it Bomak Korea activates on attack, not on on damage dealt. Why are you so scrubby? Bro, I thought I thought we family related. Oh right, right, yeah, yeah. A uh, family friendly stream, no BM, only only friend. Draws into long task I think. Yeah. That's alright. Alright. I want to go home and eat ramen. Eat ramen? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like on, looks like Corey Bird is gonna swing. Is he gonna exert? Uh he should. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh I think no 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 Corey Binger, yes. Yeah, yeah, exert, exert, I get the one two. So Lori is gonna swing. Uh not sure what he's doing though. He's swinging. Is he gonna exert? Is he gonna just? If he swings, he should exert because it's the same as I mean same as uh, leaving it back for yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. one turn. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exert on what though? I mean, exert on soul scarmage. You don't want to exert on the belt bomb out because it's just on the yeah, just a one one, and it's it's just gonna pop it. Oh oh no. Okay, kill the soul scarmage. Okay, good choice. Okay, Gideon's turn. Draws. Lightning Ooh. strike! Woo! Oh boy. Please don't lightning strike the creature. Oh You boy. have little now. Discard your mountain. Two, three damage to the face. You have yes, little. you have little. Gideon, you have little. Gideon! <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. What is he doing? Oh, okay. Okay. It's, it's, it look, okay. This is this is the correct. It's, this is correct. Wait, this is mana. interesting. Okay. Okay. Like like, like a strike. Target who? Target okay. you. Three. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. Gideon did it. Woo! <laughs> yes, Gideon. Team Gideon. The Gatewatch wins again. Yes. Alright, thank you guys for watching round one of Higher Standards Agro Games. Gideon just miraculously won a game right here. Uh, let's catch you guys for round two. We'll see you guys in a bit. In the meantime, I will play a replay. Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, back to our weekly modern, modern tournament called Modern Modern. modern. Uh, we're here watching Edward Leong versus uh, Gan Ming San. My name is Mick. I'm your host for tonight. We watched Edward earlier tonight. Edward okay. is... <laughs> Welcome back to the second <laughs> season of Qualifier oh, for the Grand well, Games Invitation. Game. My name is Big we'll Love, your host we'll alongside the future yeah, just, pro. We'll just show your modern game, whatever. Hey guys. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Four. And we'll see you yeah. guys. And uh, of this modern tournament. Yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao. He's died.